Hello, and welcome back to Master Jory in a Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. We left it on a cliffhanger last time. Aegon Targaryen has invaded. A young silver-haired man has landed in Westeros, claiming to be Aegon the Sick, trueborn son of Rhaegar Targaryen, rightful king of the Seven Kingdoms. It is widely believed he perished in the Red Keep at the hands of Gregor Clegane during the War of the Usurper along with his sister Rhaenys and his mother Elia of Dorne. It is purported that it was not Aegon who perished there, but some peasant baby who was put in Aegon's place. Now this claimant lands, and he is the Golden Company at his back. Golden Company being, uh, hopefully not those zero men that we see here. That would be very unfortunate for him. Aegon here, ten thousand men has landed. Okay, we'll see how that goes. Do we say long live the true king, or do we say Aegon is dead? He is a mummer's dragon. Well, supporting the Starks, Aegon is dead. He is a mummer's dragon. Well, let's see if he gets any support whatsoever. A mega war is instantly started. Everyone is at war and defending against it. But as... Oh, the Starks have not declared yet. The Trident have declared for um, the Iron Throne. As has the Airy. As have the Westlands. I've had as the Reach. Stormlands. Dorne is not declared. Okay. Let's unpause and see how things go. The realm is in a state of war. The Iron Throne is embroiled in a great conflict. I've committed my loyalty to my liege lord, Paramount Eddard Stark. And so I'm honor bound to follow him. We shall prevail. Who has he joined for? The Iron Throne. Unsurprising. Anyone joined? The Barrowlands have joined for Aegon. Oh, that's, that's part of the North has joined for Aegon. Can we offer to join the war? No. Okay. Well, we will have to wait and see. Uh, while I'm looking at other things, my daughter is just, yeah, hit age six. She's currently being educated by my maester. I would like her to be educated if possible by someone in Lord Paramount Eddard's court. Um... Oh, let's see. Oh, Jon Snow actually has some land. He's been landed. He was given uh, Dragon Sea Dragon Point. Interesting. Oh, under the Fishers. All right. Uh, we could get Caitlyn Stark to educate my uh, other daughter. Uh, no, sorry, my daughter, along with um, my cousin. It seems very possible. I don't know why I clicked on someone completely different. Yeah. Right. Okay, it has been secured. So... Where's... Oh, Aegon's army is down here. Duskendale is not where you need to siege. You need to move in further. Your daily routine involves repeatedly swinging your blade at a training dummy. However, you can only learn so much from fighting an enemy, and practice gets dreadfully dull after a while. I could use someone to train with. My spy master. Yes, definitely. We'll train with him. Aegon is still sieging. He's now running. He's now being destroyed by, um, well, the Stormlands army. Oh, wait, no, that's not the Stormlands army. That's the Iron Thrones army. That's the end of Aegon. Was he captured? Uh, no, the battle was just worth 113 war score. 13%. That's the end. Aegon has been imprisoned. Well, there you go. That was a little anticlimactic, wasn't it? Oh, and Breakstone Hill is uh, independent. Weird. Like, completely independent? Yeah. Weird. Okay. Nah, but now they're back underneath where they should be. Yeah. That fixed everything there. Let's keep a... Oh, the eye on what's going on with him. Okay. He should be brought for, like, a trial at some point, or I don't know. Kind of what I'm hoping for. Cattle has mysteriously disappeared from all herds throughout my land. Luckily, my bailiff found the rustlers. Okay. Well, let's see. We're honorable. So we can say thievery is punished by cutting off the hands. Another day I would have spared their lives, not today. 
or the coldest, darkest cell is reserved for scum like this. We'll imprison the law uh, breakers again. Okay. So, do we want to change what our focus is? Right now we've been focusing on war. I oh know, maybe it's time to, uh, we're 31 now. Our children are off being educated. Maybe it's time to take a step back. Maybe we can move into hunting, possibly. Um, maybe we could move into uh, rulership, like of our uh, of our realm. That's possible. Family as well. Actually, let's go family right now. Yeah, our family are growing up. It seems like a good transition for us. Uh, our maester has died of severe stress. It did sound like he was stressing. Like um, the one time we asked him to help with our troops, he uh, caused them all to panic. So definitely not. Right, let's put in another maester. Let's ask for another maester. Oh, we can shut the gates. Is there a disease in our realm? No, there is a disease. Nowhere in our realm. In fact, at all. There is no disease. I don't really want to shut the gates then. Okay, said we could. The maester we sent for from the citadel has arrived at King's Course. A stormlander by the name of Arstan. Let's hope he will be loyal and wise. Okay. So he's not as good as our previous one, but he's alright. His uh, facial hair game is on point. That's good. Our priest isn't doing anything. Now, I've had this priest here for ages. We haven't done anything with him. We could try and convert people. No, our priest is going to sit in here and convert. Even though everything's already of our religion. He'll convert anyone who arrives here who isn't. That's fine. I've grown increasingly attached to Daisy, and though her marriage was merely a practical arrangement, I wonder if I have now come to love her. Do we fall in love with Master Jory, or with Daisy? We can say, but all the other girls, or I shouldn't concern myself with such trifles. You know what, this is a marriage of love. Definitely, definitely. Oh, Lady uh, Barbary of the Barrowlands has been executed. Fair enough, she did rise up against, uh, well, the Iron Throne itself. Are we back, at, yeah, we're back underneath. Right, continue. Aegon of Essos, he's still, oh, he's been let go. We didn't get a pop-up. Well, I can leave him be now, but he was blinded and let go. Oh, wow, okay. Well, you know, I'll keep him there. I'll keep him there in case he, uh, someone comes up about him. My lord, news from Winterfell of a trial by combat. Lord Torrin Liddell demanded trial by combat from his captor, Lord Paramount Eddard Stark, selecting Rickard Liddell as his champion. Rickard slayed his opponent, Lord Megdar Serwin, proving Lord Torrin's innocence. Okay. Rickard Little. So, Rickard's. Lord Torrin demanded trial by combat, captor, Lord Paramount. Yeah, selecting Rickard Little Liddell as uh, his champion, and then Rickard killed. Oh, right, there we go, Lord Magar Serwin. I knew there was somebody I was missing. That is huge. So, Lord Magar is dead, and his son, Lord Clay, is taking over Castle Serwin. It's in the flints after that. Okay. Interesting. But Castle Serwin uh, is under new ownership. I have to keep an eye out on that one. Yeah, we already do have them as a uh, special interest. Alright. We'll see. Uh, we actually almost have enough money to start building. Lord Raywin the Justice has served the High Lordship of Flint's fingers from Lord Roderick the Old. So Flint has taken land from a Flint. Fair enough. Fair enough. We actually almost do have enough money to buy something. We have just enough money. King's course, what are we gonna buy? So something here that makes us money. Castle Town makes us money, but we need to have about double the amount. Private farms? Private farms does make us a little bit of money and provides us with troops. That seems like a good idea. We'll get those. We actually have quite a lot of troops now. How many do um, White Harbor have? They're next to us. And they were they, oh, they were fabricating claims on us at one point. 
3,000, so it's not impossible. It's not impossible what we've got going on here. Alright, so. Oh, other things I want to check is that can we get an alliance or anything with anyone or a non-aggression pact? I just thought I'd check. Yeah, no, we can't because he's our leash and he's the only person I thought we had a chance with. Though we do have a friend, don't we? Uh, we do have another friend. We have Master Hellman of Torrent Square. Can't form an alliance because we have no close bonds. Okay, that's fair enough. A man claiming to be a lord who disappeared seven years ago has found his way to my castle. He sings of the children of the forest, and some say his songs are prophetic. You can say it's an old drunk, long lost but home again, or he's finally found his way home then. You know what? He's an old drunk. Throw him out. We're wroth. Yeah, go away. Young Ara just walked up to me today, striking up conversation. Um, we ended up having a long talk about a great many things. You know what? That's good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What a nice child. I made a new friend as well. Fantastic. We get some diplomacy, we get some general opinion, and we're now friends with our daughter. That's good. Child lacks an education, so Desmond needs to choose his actual education. I'm thinking Marshall. He is an idolizer, which doesn't do well. His chance he becomes frail. You know what? That's a chance we have to take. He has, he's going to be Marshall. He's going to follow after us, whether he likes it or not. Right. What quality of education would you like to purchase for your son, Desmond Cassell? Well, I forgot that I was going to do that. And I just spent all my money on some lovely new farms. So... I'm afraid that he's only going to get the very essentials from me. He's going to become barely educated. Oh no. My lord, news from Highgarden of a trial by combat. Lord Aaron Cockshaw demanded a trial by combat from his captor, Lord Paramount Mace Tyrell, selecting Sir Hosmond as his champion. Sir Hosmond forced his opponent, Sir Eric, to yield, proving Lord Aaron's innocence. Eric and Hosmond. So Hosmond was better. Okay. Fair enough. Master Jory, a great melee in the northern tradition is to be held in Whitford. I urge you to come and take part and prove your prowess in battle. Well, of course I will. I need the money and I can prove my strength. We do look like we have just had the worst day. I think that's stressed putting the, um, the bags under our eyes. Yeah. Okay. I like it, though. My friend, Lord Paramount Edward Stark, tried to have Lord Clay Serwin of Castle Serwin arrested, but failed to apprehend him. Lord Clay saw futility in rebellion and has travelled to Winterfell to seek justice in person. Oh, really? Oh, we might just, uh, think about... Yeah, it gives us a good reason to attack it. I would say. Let's see. The Whitford Melee of 8302. The early stages we have gotten through. Okay. Okay. You and Sir Roderick Cassell sight each other amongst the battle and prepare to engage in combat. Our uncle! He is slightly worse at combat than us, but he has a good reason to fight us. So I will defeat him. You and Sir Roderick slowly circle each other, tense and focused. You scan him for any sign of weakness, any opening in his defense you could possibly exploit. We'll play it defensive. As you and Sir Roderick engage, you slip up and leave an opening in your defense. A skilled warrior like Sir Roderick needs no invitation to strike. Roderick overwhelms your defi defense, and with a mighty blow sends you sprawling to the ground. You look up with him towering above you, ready to deliver the finishing blow. But I'm not done yet. The Roderick strikes and you roll just in time, taking no more than a flesh wound. You force yourself back to your feet and hold your weapon ready. You did not become wounded. Okay. Well, we're going to go defensive again. You see a weak spot. A vulnerability in Sir Roderick's defense is not much, but it's all you need. You easily break through Sir Roderick's guard and knock him to the ground. He lies sprawled at your feet, completely at your mercy. The Roderick drops his weapon, throws up his hand. Yield! I yield! All right, I'll accept it. The fight is over, Sir Roderick lies defeated, you have won. Through a fierce duel, you have forced Sir Roderick Cassell to concede defeat. He removes himself from the field, nursing his injuries whilst you seek a new opponent. 
Council support has been requested by uh, Lord Torin Little. Hmm. You want to add Little Little fight for you? No. I, I don't think I am going to be accepting that. Daisy Mormon and Malad or Malador sighted each other engaged in combat. After a fierce duel, Daisy prevailed, forcing Malador to concede. Oh wow. So she is uh, once again pushing her way up the ranks. Oh, her ambition is to have five children. Oh wow, okay. You and Daisy Mormon sight each other on amongst the battle and prepare to engage in combat. Okay, you and Mistress Daisy slowly circle each other, tense and focused. All right, defensive again. I slip up. She overwhelms us, but I'm not done yet. I'm gonna roll out the way. No wound. Okay. Okay, this time might. You launch a frenzied and furious attack on Mistress Daisy, immediately setting her on the back foot. She appeared panicked by this, allowing you an opening. You easily break through Mistress Daisy's guard and knock her to the ground. She lies sprawled at your feet, completely at your mercy. She drops her weapon, throws up her hands. Yield. I yield. Alright. We beat her this time. Fantastic. I was just wondering, actually, um, talking of melees, we did win one. It was not something that used to tell you where you'd won them. Maybe that's only for tyrannies, not for melees. Possibly. Anyway. Victory is mine. After a fierce duel, you have forced Daisy Mormont to concede defeat. She removes herself from the field, nursing her injuries whilst you seek a new opponent. She knew the risks. After many hours of intense battle, you are alone left standing. You've been all who stood before you. You were declared the winner of the melee. Also, I beat my wife in the final. Fantastic. Could have phrased it better, beating my wife is not a great phrase to use. But I got the gold. We now have some gold. Great. Um, yeah, great. Oh, what's that faction? Is that Liege Loyalists? Everyone is in Liege Loyalists, led by me. Fantastic. The many hours of intense battle, Lord Marulf's melee is finally over. The final group provided a fine spectacle for all those present, and many approved of the good fight you provided. That yeah, was a good fight. Uh, I heard a death. Was that Janus die? Comatose in bed. That didn't sound like comatose in bed. Oh! At age 47, your acquaintance, Lord Roos III of the Dreadfort, was slain by Master Kyle of the Eagle Tower in a trial by combat. Kyle of Eagle Tower? Kyle Condon? He's back. And he killed Roos Bolton. Why? It doesn't say, but he did. Oh, it was a trial by combat. Never mind. Oh, wow. We're going to find out about it here. That's amazing for Kyle. Good job, Kyle. My son is not feeling well. He has the flu. Oh, well. My lord, news from Winterfell of a trial by combat. Lord Clay Sirwin demanded trial by combat from his lord paramount, Edward Stark, selecting Master Kyle Condon as his champion. Master Cal slayed his opponent, Lord Roos Bolton, proving Lord Clay's innocence. I'm going to stop fabricating claims. I mean, if Cal Condon's on his side. Yeah. Well, okay. Interesting. Alright. He let us live after, after our combat, so, you know, I, I trust him. A very, wait, who owns Dreadfort now? Lord Domeric Bolton. Okay. Obviously of the si sibling of Lord Ramsay Snow. The heir is Will Bolton. Is Ramsay Snow in it? No, because he was never legitimized. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Well, if we haven't got a claim by October, we're going to have to change our, uh, our justicier. And change what they're doing. October, no claim. October 23rd. No claim. From Statecraft again. He's proven innocent by somebody we trust. Though, so Lord Clay is now, uh, in our eyes, can't touch him. Lord Paramount Eddard, the Warriors, inherited the castle of Gatehouse Tower from Commander Edarian of Gatehouse Tower. And he's inherited the Lordship of Moat Kaelin and other titles from Harwin Algray. Oh, okay, so that's all of Moat Kaelin. Oh, because our rival has been sent to the Night's Watch. Oh. 
or he decided to join the Night's Watch. Interesting. I wonder why. Um, oh, it's a different one. I was thinking, oh, maybe this is the reason why. But a different trial by combat. Torrin Liddell demanded trial by combat from his captor, Lord Paramount Edward Stark, selecting Rickard Liddell as a champion. Rickard was defeated and forced to yield to Lord Paramount Edward Stark. Oh, directly. Edward... Ned went, you know, he, he fought this one himself, proving Torrin's guilt. After, as a consequence, Torrin was forced to take Black as the brother of the Night's Watch. So Torrin the Little has taken the Black, um, and the Big Little had already taken the Black. So uh, now it's Morgan Middle Little who's in charge of Pine Seed. Okay. Barth is no longer our Justicier. He, ha he died of gout complications related to it. Just this here. It can't be our wife, unfortunately, because of the way Game of Thrones works. Not Game of Thrones, uh, Crusader Kings 2. So basically this number of state diplomacy is made up of your spouse and your counsellor. Uh, it's half your spouse and half your counsellor. If you put your spouse as your ca No, sorry. Let's try again. It's half your spouse in the full value for your counsellor. But, if you put your spouse in as your counsellor, you only get your full spouse's bonus. You don't get the extra half on top. So Garth is actually better for us. Right. For state diplomacy, anyway. And he'll perform statecraft right now. Right. Well, on that, I think I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. This is the last episode of the recording session, like the first recording session, so I haven't seen any comments yet, but I hope that you're really enjoying it, and I will uh, see what you think next episode. Thank you for watching. See you then. Goodbye.